as a digital entrepreneur, if you can't measure, you can't grow. Measuring and understanding your traffic, your numbers, your sales, your revenue, your ROAS is the first stepping stone to actually growing and having a full-time income. And that's why we're super excited. I'll head into my Sam Cart Marketplace settings to show you guys the two newest additions to Sam Cart's Smart Analytics Suite is uh, GA4, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager. Uh, last week, we announced the brand new uh, Smart Metapixel Tracking, where Sam Cart is doing all of this stuff and firing a ton of data and events back to your Meta Manager, uh, Meta Events Manager. And now we're super excited to add GA4 and Google Tag Manager to those offerings. So any of you guys who are using the Google Analytics suite of tools right now you're going to have more data than you've ever had before uh, piped directly from sam cart back into these platforms without you having to lift a finger do it one time sam cart takes care of it for every product you'll ever make ever again so come to your marketplace settings for uh, ga4 you're going to drop in your measurement id you can find that again inside of your ga4 analytics dashboard um GA4 analytics. It's like saying ATM machine, right? Uh, Google Tag Manager, you just need your container ID. Again, go make a container inside of GTM. If you're using it, you know what this is. These are not hard things. Uh, drop these uh, things here, click Save Changes, and then uh, just make sure that if you have your, if you had your GA Pixel, if you had your Google Tag Manager Pixel, anything embedded in your header and footer, maybe these boxes inside your Marketplace settings have those pixels, remove them. You don't need them, right? If you're doing this up here, uh, you do not need to embed your pixels directly. With that being said, let's test this out and show you exactly how it works. Here's a SIM card product that I have. Uh, if I go ahead and just open up the Express link in a new tab, right? So I would go to Check Out Anywhere, click Express, and just copy this page URL, right? That's this page right here. Simple, easy, quick checkout page. I'm going to go back into Tag Managers where I'm going to do this testing. Um, and from the, uh, the specific container that you're integrated with SAM card, come up here and click on preview. You can see this right here. This is the, the test container we've made. It matches what I put inside of SAM card. Go ahead and click on preview. What preview is going to do is going to open up something called the tag assistant and help you kind of see this stuff in action. So here we are inside of preview mode. Uh, typically, We've already done this a few times, right? But what you'll probably need to do is come here and click Add Domain. And all you're going to do is click Add Domain and just drop in the, the URL you just grabbed, the URL to your SAM card express page. I've already done this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll click Stop Debugging on this one, and we're going to open this back up. And so what it's going to do is it's going to open up the Tag Assistant. Uh, down here in the bottom window, you get this kind of like blue or green mark says, like, cool, you are connected, right? Um, if I come back over here, you can actually already see, here are some events that are already happening, right? So I've done some scrolls. Um, it's fired off all of these other tags, is what they call them, other pixels. GTM is a container that can hold pixels for everything else you do and help you manage everything in one place. So I, I don't have to worry about putting in our TikTok pixel, our LinkedIn pixel, our Pinterest pixel, our Reddit pixel, our uh, even GA4 we fire off through, G T through GTM. We don't necessarily have to do both ourselves. Um, but you do all that through GTM in one place at one time, right? But anyway, you can see these things have fired correctly on the page. HubSpot even, we have stuff for HubSpot. Um, but if I go back over here and just start engaging with the page, I just click around, scroll a few times, maybe I add an order bump um, to my order. If I come back over to GTM, you can see, click, click, here's some scrolls, things like that. Um, but it's, it's talking, right? If I go to my GA, uh, my Google Analytics dashboard specifically, here's the real-time data. You can actually see me here west of Austin. This is where we reside. Um, out here, uh, the real-time analytics dashboard is tracking all this stuff too, which is great. So now all that's left is to go ahead and buy. And thanks to Sam Cart's awesome tech, let's see exactly how quick this is to go ahead and go buy. I've got a stored credit card on file, so I'm just going to select that. And then it's just first name. phone number on this particular one and then click join. And so as this is submitting my order, I can, again, I'm going to go ahead and place an order real quick and then we'll jump back into GTM and show you guys all the kinds of data that's being sent back over that way. And so as we go through this checkout process on the next page is a one-click upsell. But if I scroll back over here, you're going to see a bunch of different events, including purchase. And so if I go ahead and, uh, and show some of the variables, show some of the data layer for this, you can actually see here's everything this person has purchased. Here's exactly what products they bought, discounts, how much they spent on it, all kinds of good stuff is right here. Uh, and if I scroll back over and kind of keep this party going, if I buy a one-click upsell using one-click, right, great SAM card technology, it's going to track that as a separate purchase, but 
not double count revenue, right? It's gonna make sure that every dollar that you track is, uh, is correctly, uh, correctly tracked. So here's second purchase, it's just for the upsell product. So all your ROAS calculations and everything are like our dollar for dollar. Um, but yeah, that's the really cool part. If I buy one more one-click upsell, you can see this in real time over here on the left as it's gonna go ahead, process this. It's gonna track a third purchase, sending a ton of data about everything under the sun back over to GTM. And so just like that, you guys can see how easy it is for you to track all of your sales revenue data, everything back over to Google Tag Manager GA4 with this new analytics uh, setup. You guys can go into your SamCart Marketplace settings, turn these on absolutely anytime, turn them on, take out any other pixels that you had that were Google pixels, you don't need them anymore. Uh, make sure that you remove any old pixels from these boxes. Uh, if you're using your own external thank you page, make sure you toggle that toggle on, uh, click save changes, and you guys are off and running. That's what your, your GTM is gonna start looking like this, your Google Analytics dashboard looking like this with a bunch of purchase events and user data that you can use to grow and scale your business. If you wanna put our analytics to work, our smart analytics, head over to samcart.com, grab a free trial of Samcart today and see the difference that awesome tools make for selling your products.